Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Today I want to show you two different extensions to iPhoto that will make it easier for you to get your photos up to the internet. iPhoto is a great program for editing and managing your photos, but it doesn't really make it any easier for you to get your photos up to a website. It does do this through MobileMe, but if you don't want to pay the extra money for MobileMe, or you want to actually put it on a website where people can share information about photos, then there's really nothing in iPhoto for you. You have to export your photos from iPhoto and then do a separate upload procedure. However, there are two extensions for iPhoto that will make this a little easier. One of them is for Flickr and the other is for Facebook. Let's take a look at them. Alright, so here we are inside of iPhoto. And I have some pictures that I took yesterday at the DNC here in Denver walking around town. So I can select one or all of these photos. And then I don't go to the Share menu, which you would think would be the place to go, but instead I go to File Export. And this is where the plugins allow you to do different things with your photos. So I've got two new plugins here. One is FF Exporter. And FF Exporter then comes up with this dialog here. If I'm not logged in, to Flickr at the time. I can click here to log in. It will take me to a web page using Safari or Firefox and I will then log in and then return to this page. Once I do that it knows who I am as you can see and it even lists some of the uh, photo sets that I've got in Flickr. I can then go ahead and choose some things to do about this photo set that I'm going to upload. So I can say, oh, I want anybody to be able to see this. I can restrict the photo size. Um, I can change the safety level if I want. Uh, I can even uh, change the type of content. And then I can go ahead and when I'm done with that hit export and then what will happen is it will upload all the photos that I've selected to my Flickr account. And it's as easy as that. You can get this free Flickr exporter at Dustin.ly. Now I guess you can say this is beta software because it's version 0.41 but it seems to work fine. So next up we've got a way to export your iPhoto photos into Facebook. So of course you need a Facebook account for this and you do the same thing. You select your photos and then you go ahead and do File Export but this time you select Facebook and you go ahead and log in and I've done the same thing here. I've logged in and it goes to a, a website and for Facebook and then you go ahead and you do your login and then it knows that you're logged in back here at iPhoto. And then you can do a bunch of interesting things. You can choose which album you want to upload too. So you can go ahead and create an album on uh, Facebook or you can create a new one right here inside the exporter. Then you can select your photos and you can select them and add a caption right here. So the free Flickr exporter, that was actually taking your title tags from iPhoto so you would want to set them up in advance. Uh, this here won't take those but it will allow you to create the captions right here for each individual one. So you can create maybe a little longer descriptions than you normally would put in a title. Another cool thing that you could do is you can go ahead and you can tag people in a photo. All you need to do is click on the photo in any area like that and it will create this tag area and you can go ahead and select from your friends or type in any name as a tag for the person in the photo. So that's pretty cool and then we'll go ahead and upload all these photos and they'll appear on Facebook. Now one of the things that's not cool about this is that then you have to go into Facebook and approve these photos because they won't automatically be available to everyone. You can get this Facebook iPhoto plugin for free by going to developers.facebook.com slash iPhoto. I love these types of plugins because it makes it so easy to share your photos with others. And I really wish there were more for more of the photo sharing services. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.